Sports Network. And we join you in the action. It's an 0-2 count. Ryan Liker gets the ball today for the Ravens. He's quickly ahead on the leadoff hitter for Highland. Maverick Rockers. That one outside, ball one. Liker comes into today's game with a 7.3 ERA and eight games started, 37 innings pitched. And he goes with the breaking ball there. That's flied to left, charging in and making a nice catch down by the waist is the left fielder Harrison Smith for the first out of the game for Liker and the Ravens. Ravens won two games in convincing fashion on the road against this Highland team and will look to win the series here this afternoon. And now batting in the two spot, this is the center fielder, Zach Knowlton. And that one just off the outside corner, ball one from Liker. one -oh pitch. And a little sidearm action there from Liker. That one just outside, 2-0. Oh. Knowlton, a sophomore out of Spring Hill, Kansas. Liker, also a sophomore. He's from nearby Independence. Had some big-time games he pitched for the Bulldogs in his high school career. 2-1 and one as that slider swung on and missed. And you can tell Liker wants to attack him away. He's th we've seen three pitches that have all been near the outside edge. Not trying to let him generate power on the inside of the bat. That one was inside and nubbed foul, two and two. Pitching outside obviously varies from hitter to hitter, but sometimes hitters struggle to generate power on the outside part of the plate. Sometimes they get their hands extended and prefer it out there, but this one popped up. A little bit of wind here today. This could be a tricky play. The first baseman makes the catch. Nice snag there by... The Ravens, and there's two quickly down. That was Landon Midget making the catch over there at first base. Landon's mom just got named the Red Raven head volleyball coach a couple weeks ago. So the Midget family slowly taking over Coffeyville Athletics. Ball one here. This is the three-hole hitter, Dylan Shepard. He's playing catcher today. That one, nice slider, back door, outside corner, strike one. One one here from Ryan Liker, and that one fouled back out towards my car. We saw a Tyler O'Neill home run for the Boston Red Sox shatter a windshield a little earlier this week. Hopefully, uh, there's no windshield shattered at Walter Johnson Park today. Once you pitch, tails high and away. Two and two here from Liker as he looks for a one two three inning here. To start game one of our doubleheader, that one grounded to second, moving to his left, on to first, and a nice start for Ryan Liker, the sophomore, sets the tone, Ravens coming to bat, scoreless game, bottom one here on the Red Ravens Sports Network.
Ravens coming to bat. Scoreless game, bottom of the first, and we'll see the left-hander Keaton Matlick on the mound for the Highland Scotties today. Matlick on the season, seven games started, eight games total. He is on the season. No record, but a 4.45 earned run average, and he goes to work a little high there on the first pitch to Adrian Dominguez. Ravens will send to the plate Dominguez, Cruz, and Schrack, the second baseman, shortstop, and third baseman here in the first inning. That one a little low, over-adjusted, 2-0, and, oh, and Matlick's hat goes flying to the third base side of the mound. Two pitches, one lost hat so far here in the bottom of the first. The 2-0 pitch. There will that one on the outside corner. Peppered in there, 2-1. and one. Island 12 and 29 on the season. Ravens come into this one 16 and 25. Two teams looking to find some momentum here in the closing stages of the season as we move throughout the month of April. Three and one now on the leadoff hitter Dominguez. Dominguez on the season is hitting 344. A pair of home runs, 21 runs batted in. It's a big swing and a miss there. He's trying for home run number three on that one. And it's a full count. Three balls, two strikes to the leadoff hitter, Dominguez. And foul tipped. Catcher couldn't secure it. We'll do it again. Full count pitch again from Matlick. Facing the leadoff hitter, Dominguez. And called strike three. Dominguez down, looking one down. Seven pitch battle to start the bottom of the first. Matlick wins it. Today's pitcher, Matlick, hails from Paola. He goes to work now against the Ravens shortstop, Nathan Cruz. And that breaking ball stayed outside, ball one. Cruz on the season. He's been the primary shortstop, hitting a team high 380. Home run, 22 runs batted in, six doubles. Only struck out 17 times. This is a guy that puts the ball in play, does it at a pretty high level. Also, solid shortstop. Good range, mobility, and he's quickly ahead 3-0, and, oh, and Matlick's hat is not having a good time here in the bottom of the first inning. That's the third time already. Ball will be flying here this afternoon, at least in game one. But Liker obviously started the day with soft contact, a ground ball, a pop-up, and a shallow fly ball to left. Three and one now to Matlick, from Matlick, excuse me, to Cruz, and that one just missed down, and a one-out walk issued to the Ravens shortstop. Puts a runner on for the three-hole hitter, Carson Schrack. Track on the season, a 375 hitter, 29 runs batted in. That's tied for the team lead. He is committed to the University of Arkansas. First pitch, half swing there, and let's say he went strike one. Track, one of the best in all of junior college at Putting the bat on the ball, he's only struck out 13 times, and for the second straight year, more walks than strikeouts. That one gets away from the catcher, and it will be a stolen base for Cruz. He thought about trying to move up to third, but he will stay put. So a runner in scoring position now with one out. Chalk that up as stolen base number five on the season for Cruz. Now one and one here to the Raven third baseman with Nathan Cruz standing off a second. That one lined over the shortstop's head, sinking fast, it's down. They give Cruz the wave. Throw is cut off by the shortstop, there will be no throw. It's an RBI single for Carson Schreck and an early one nothing lead for Coffeyville. 
Schrack, the first Raven hitter on the season to 30 runs batted in. And the Ravens strike quickly against the left-hander Matlick. I bring up the cleanup hitter Carson Miller. Miller hitting 329, three home runs on the season. Freshman's given them a nice little spark offensively, particularly in the second half of the year. one to Miller. It shows bunt, pulls back, that's off the catcher's mitt. Schrack will move up to second already, the second time in the inning. The Raven runner has moved into scoring position. Now we'll have a brief meeting at the mound with the infield. Matlick trying to limit damage. Ravens with an early 1-0 lead, a walk to Nathan Cruz. He stole second base and scored on the Carson Schrack base hit. Ravens trying to do more damage here with Carson Miller at the plate. Coffeyville, of course, back at Walter Johnson Park about a month ago for the first time in nearly a year and looking to get their groove here back at Walter Johnson. They're just 4-9 and nine at home this season. Obviously, two wins today would go a long way in making that feel a lot better. Beautiful day in downtown Coffeyville. We're looking at temperatures in the low 80s, sunshine, a little bit of a breeze. Nice day for some baseball. Here's the 1-1 to Carson Miller. Schrack takes a lead off of second. That one well outside, 2-1. Ravens led by ninth year head coach Jake Martin. Highland is led by third year head coach Landon Hay. Swing and a miss, Shrack. Swinging at the outside fastball. Was a little bit under it. And two and two. Usually the best opportunity to strike on a starting pitcher is in that opening inning when they're still looking for what they have mechanically, what they have from a stuff perspective. Miller lines it, that's gonna sneak up the middle, a little blue pit for Carson Miller. Schrack gets the green light, he comes home, a two nothing Raven lead early in this one. As the middle of the order is delivered, Schrack and Miller each with RBI Knox. That'll bring up Jaden Hill, the sophomore, and Hill what an addition he's been hitting 351, 28 runs driven in, 16 stolen bases on the season. We've seen Coach Martin shift more towards a uh, a split lineup where you'll see a lot of a, a righty heavy lineup against left-handed pitchers like Matlick. More left-handers against right-handed pitching, of course, but hitters like Schrack and and Jaden Hill have earned the benefit of the doubt to play against both both-handed pitchers. That's just how talented they are. 0-1 oh after a foul ball, step off, and Miller back in time. 2-0 Coffeyville early in this one. A pair of RBI singles for Carson Schrack and Carson Miller. Now 0-1 oh on Jaden Hill, that one up and in. Highland's actually been better away from home than they have been at home this season. Four more wins on the road. That one fouled off by Hill. Matlick ahead in the count, one and two. Ravens will have a midweek showdown with Butler after today's doubleheader before taking on the Barton Cougars coming up next weekend. We'll be in Great Bend on Thursday afternoon and back here at Walter Johnson Park next Saturday to take on the Cougars. Barton versus Coffeyville has become quite the rivalry in the sports world. Played each other in the postseason in basketball each of the last two years. Postseason games in soccer. Cougars and Ravens do not get along. I'm excited for those matchups next week, but 
course, Ravens looking to go into those matchups with a little bit of momentum. Two and two now on Jaden Hill. The runner at first is the freshman, Carson Miller. That one just off the outside corner. Not a bad pitch at all by Matlick, but the count runs full. Swing and a miss. Hill comes up empty on the full count pitch, and that's the second out of the inning for Matlick and the Scotties. Harrison Smith steps in. He's playing left field today. Bat with a runner on first, two outs, a 2 nothing Raven lead. First pitch from Matlick. Gets his sign, delivers, and on the inside corner, late strike call. Head 0-1. Might have to get some glue on the inside of that hat here in between innings. One, uh, oh, and one, excuse me, here on Smith. That's a swing and a miss. Runner goes, the throw offline, and that's a stolen base for Carson Miller. That'll be the seventh steal of the season for Miller. But it's 0-2 on Harrison Smith. O2 pitch. Inside, and it hit him. On an 0-2 pitch, Smith gets plunked on the elbow. And that provides another base runner for Tate Moody. Moody comes into today hitting 256 on the season. He's driven in 27 runs, six home runs on the year. That's tied for the team, or excuse me, that's one off the team lead. Leading the team is Christian Amen with seven. But Moody, a... Historic, historically pretty good hitter with runners in scoring position. Has had a lot of big hits with hitters in prime real estate. 1-0 pitch here to Moody. Miller off of second, Smith off of first. There's a strike. 1-1 one one the count. Keep Matlick looking to Limit the damage here. Trailing two to nothing. That one line by Moody, foul. He roped it, but was just out in front of it. Now Matlick in the driver's seat with a one-two count. Two pitch, Moody waits in the box. That one high and outside. Count runs even two and two. Gotta wonder if Matlick's overthrowing a bit here in this first inning. We've seen quite a few pitches end up in that high outside quadrant. Two two pitch here. That one just upstairs, full count. That time he caught the hat. That was a pretty impressive display of athleticism. It reminds me of a red center fielder, Will Benson, who I don't know if he's ever made it to second base without losing his helmet. Full count pitch. Runners will go. That one fought off by Moody. Sometimes you just know. And looks like Matlick's kind of starting to realize he's just gonna. It's just gonna be something he deals with today. Full count pitch will do it again. Matlick to Moody. Two on, two outs, two nothing Ravens. And that one down and in. Ball four, bases loaded. Ravens trying to make it a big time first inning. Now we see number 17. Ethan Gillespie coming to the plate.
Gillespie. Up and in, throw down to first, and if it wasn't on a hop, they had him. It's 1-0 here on Gillespie. Bases are full of Ravens, already leading 2-0. Gillespie fouls that one straight back. One ball, one strike. That one is a strike, throw down to the first and back in time once again is Moody. One ball, two strikes and tried to backdoor it and just missed. Two two pitch, Gillespie foul tipped, and we'll do it again. Quick conversation there between catcher Dylan Shepard and pitcher Keaton Matlick. Two balls, two strikes. Upstairs, full count. Now we'll have an action pitch here. Runners will be in motion. Gillespie with a big chance here to give the Ravens an early cushion. Full count pitch, Matlick gets his sign. Kicks and fires. And skied into the air, left field. Shortstop gives it a look, gives way to the third baseman. That catch is made, and the inning is over. Ravens send eight to the plate. They score two runs. Shrack and Miller make it 2 nothing Ravens. Ryan Liker back to the mound here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Second inning here from Walter Johnson Park. Ravens lead it 2-0. Ryan Liker back on the mound. And it will be the right fielder, Nolan Oliver, stepping into the box here for, uh, for Highland. Excuse me. Oliver on the season. Oliver on the season, excuse me, is a 291 hitter, five home runs. He's quickly ahead to count 2-0. Gets his sign, kicks, and delivers. And there's a slider on the outside edge. Strike one. I've seen a lot of those outside edge sliders from Ryan Liker. He seems to like how that pitch is coming out of his hand today. There's another one, swing and a miss. A 
We'll like her throw three sliders in a row, 2-2 two -two pitch. And he did, and that one fought off. Certainly a fan of how that slider is breaking out of his hand here today. We've seen that pitch thrown more than the fastball so far. That one a little bit low, count runs full. That one outside and a leadoff walk drawn by Oliver. Liker lets that at bat get away from him. Leadoff base runner here for Highland. So that'll bring up Gage Hansel, the third baseman. Hansel on the season. 265 hitter. here on Hansel with Oliver off of first base. Nobody out. One on here in the second. That one fouled back quickly 0-2. That one just a bit outside. One and two. Not a bad 2 pitch there with the, slot, the fastball up and away. deck the first baseman Connor Titus goes to the slider gets a slow roller to Cruz Cruz only has one play on the first and he makes it one down Hansel hit that one slow enough that it was not unable to be a double play but Ravens will take the out Oliver moves into scoring position Runner on second, one out here, top second. Ravens lead it two to nothing. Likers pitch, a little bit off the inside corner. They're gonna say that hit him. They're not gonna say that hit him. He started walking towards first base like it was a given. Umpire did not agree. 1-0 pitch. That one grounded, Cruz to his left. And has a little trouble, fires, and that one couldn't be picked out. Runner never stopped, and he will score. Highland on the board. Raven defense couldn't quite slow that down, and Highland cuts the deficit in half. It's 2-1. E6. Cruz had a slight bobble when he went to his left to grab it. That one foul tipped off to the first baseline. Now batting number one, Kyle McConaughey. I'll bring up Kyle McConaughey, the shortstop. Runner on first, one out, now a 2-1 ball game. One and one. One ball, one strike. And tried to paint that outside corner, just missed, two and one. That one in play to first. Midgets throw to second in time, that's all they'll get. Fielder's choice, McConaughey reaches, but now two down and they'll bring up the designated hitter, Solomon Holmes. One on, two outs, 2-1 two game, throw over to first and back in time is McConaughey. Pitch from Liker, 
Skied, first baseman retreating. That's Midget, and it falls foul. Runner on first, two outs. That one slider off the outside corner, one ball, one strike. One and one, Liker gets his sign. Throws over to first and back in time. Swing and a miss on a slider, throw down the second. Just off the outside corner, no called, strike three. Shrack in disbelief. But that's going to be a call that helps the Scotties here get out of the inning. Let's go to the third. Ravens come up empty. It's 2-1 Coffeeville here from Walter Johnson Park.
Back here for the top of the third, it is the left fielder, Caleb Asix. Ashes. Caleb Ashes leading off here for Highland. Ravens lead it 2-1. to one. That one off the outside edge, 2-0 and oh here from Ryan Liker. It'll be Ashes followed by Maverick Rockers and the center fielder, Zach Knowlton. 2-1 and one as that one was fouled off. One pitch again fouled off. Now the count is even. Two two pitch swing and a miss slider off the outside corner. Strikeout for Liker, one down. Maverick Rockers, the second baseman, steps in for the second time today. Fly out to left his first time up. No one tails inside, 1-0. 2-0, Two-o pitch here from Liker. Raven scored two in the first. Highland answered with one in the second. That one to the shortstop. Cruz, what a lunging catch for out number two. Side ball one to Knowlton. One and out here to the center fielder Knowlton, who popped up the first his first time up. Takes a strike on the outside corner, one and one. Liker looking for a second one, two, three inning of the afternoon. That one fouled off and he's ahead in the count, one and two. Nolton, the best hitter on this Highland team. 372 average. Did he go? He did not. Two and two. Count evens up. Liker looking for a one, two, three inning. Two, two pitch. And he got him on the outside corner. Little help from Nathan Cruz with a diving catch. Liker strikes out two. Ravens up 2 1 as we go to the bottom of the third.
Bottom of the third inning here at Walter Johnson Park. Ravens lead it two to one. Ryan Leiker with a pair of strikeouts in that third inning. And we'll see Carson Miller leading it off here in the bottom of the third. He had an RBI single to center his first time up. Breaking ball inside corner strike. Matlick has started to find something that he he likes with that breaking ball. There's a bunt. Tried to pull it back, but ended up fouling it off 0-2. and 0-2. Swing and a miss. Matlick with another strikeout. One down here in the third. That'll bring up Jaden Hill. Hill struck out on a uh, full count fastball his first time up. First pitch here is a breaking ball once again. Landed on the outside edge for a strike. Raven hitters haven't been thrilled with the strike zone today. We saw Carson Schrack very visibly Upset with the strike three call to end the third inning, but now it's 0 2 on Jaden Hill. Yeah. 0 and 2 here on Hill. That one upstairs, ball one. Matlick has not yet had a 1 2 3 inning today. He's ahead one and two on the Ravens center fielder. Outside corner, just missed. We had the Highland dugout already starting to chant. That's how close that one was. Two-two pitch. That one foul and out of the reach of the third baseman. In each of his at-bats, Hill has had six-plus pitches. Doing a good job working the pitch count. And now a full count as we will have a seventh pitch of this at-bat. Full count pitch. And that one roped down the line foul by Hill. Looks like that was a changeup. Hill scolded it, just foul. So we'll do it again, full count, nobody on, one out here, bottom of the third inning. That one grounded, shortstop to his right, this is gonna be a long throw, Hill has good speed and got him by a step. Nice play by the Highland shortstop there. Kyle McConaughey answering the outstanding play by Nathan Cruz in the top half. Now here's Harrison Smith. Two outs, nobody on. Matlick looks for a 1-2-3 inning. Another breaking ball dropped in for strike. 0-1 oh on Harrison Smith. Oh 0-1 pitch, outside, 1-1. One one. one and two is, that breaking ball is working well. For Keaton Matlett. Looking for his first one, two, three inning of the day. There it is. Swing and a miss by Harrison Smith. Liker goes one, two, three, and Matlick responds. Let's go to the fourth. 2 1 Ravens here at Walter Johnson Park.
Strike one to Dylan Shepard as we get started in the fourth inning here from Coffeeville. Shane Eel, it's the Red Raven Sports Network. Game one of our two-game doubleheader between Highland and the Red Ravens. 3-4-5 here in the fourth for the, for the Scotties, excuse me. Swinging a miss. Nice change up there from Liker. He struck out two in that third inning. He'll face Shepard, Oliver, and Hansel here in this fourth. 0-2 oh, to Shepard. And that changeup fades down and away. One and two. One and two pitch now on Liker. Tries to dot the inside corner of the fastball. They say just a little bit too far in. Two and two. That one hit him in the foot, and Shepard reaches to start the inning. So that'll bring up Nolan Oliver, the cleanup hitter. One outside, one and oh. Strike there, one and one now on Oliver. Throw over to first and a pretty good one. They say safe. One and one now on Oliver with Shepard off of first base. Slider down and away, two and one. Throw over to first again, back in time. Liker trying to prevent this inning from getting out of hand. Swing and a miss there on a nice slider, two and two. To the leadoff hit by pitch. We'll bring up the 2-2 two -two count. That one lined to center, and Jaden Hill will have it. Barely had to move one down. Almost overran it. You saw Hill reach over his head to make that catch. It's 390 out to dead center field, so if that gets over his head, they would be running for a while. But now that'll bring up the third baseman, Gage Hansel. Runner on first, one out. Hansel shows blunt right back to Liker. Liker will take his play over to first base. Two down on the sacrifice. So they'll put a runner in scoring position. That is the tying run in scoring position. And it brings up the first baseman, Connor Titus. Titus on the season. He's a 318 hitter. He's driven in 21 runs. One and zero here on Titus. Tying run at second. That one lined over the head of the third baseman Shrack, and the bunt pays off. Shepard coming around to score. Titus trying to sneak backside to second. He's out. Excuse me, they'll say he dropped the ball, and Titus will be safe at second base. Highland ties the game at two. A clutch hit from the first baseman, Titus. It's 
So now the go-ahead run in scoring position here for Highland and Kyle McConaughey coming up. He takes the slider on the inside edge, strike one. Oh, one pitch from Liker, swing and a miss. Quickly ahead, 0-2. Liker tries to keep this game tied up. I went upstairs and McConaughey able to hold off. One two pitch. Sophomore Ryan Liker looking to keep us deadlocked. That one poked past Cruz. And the wave is on for Titus. And Highland scored two here in the fourth to take the lead. A pair of punched singles out to the outfield. And a two-out rally for the, for the Scotties of Highland. They lead it three to two. They now move to the designated hitter, Solomon Holmes. Throw over to first, back in time is McConaughey. First pitch breaking ball in there for a strike. Likers done a nice job getting ahead in the count. A lot of first pitch strikes here today. Throw over to first again, back in time. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Three, two, Highland, another throw over. That one outside, one and one. And it's McConaughey and Liker having a little war on the base paths here during this at bat. One and one now as he comes to the plate. That one fouled off. McConaughey is a guy that will run. He's got on the season nine stolen bases. That's second on the team, only behind Zach Knowlton, who leads this Highland team in just about every single traceable metric. Home runs, RBIs, batting average. Knowlton about as good as it gets. Another throw over and McConaughey back standing. One, two, Liker looking to get out of the inning. That one looped and that will fall fair. And the two-out rally continues, rounding third and held up there from... Connor Titus. Kyle McConaughey gave Highland the lead, and there you just saw a double from Solomon Holmes. Sets the table for Oshis. First pitch, breaking ball, strike. That one down and away, one and one. Ravens trying to leave the score at three to two after Highland scratched across two, two out runs here in the fourth. Trying to hit the outside corner and just missed outside. Two and one now. Breaking ball, skied. Midget gives it a look. It is down. 
and rolling past into the right field. Trying to go to third and making it his Oshis two run score. Four run inning, major damage here for Highland. And the wind impacted that one and it fell between the right fielder and the first baseman midget. Now back to the top of the order, Maverick Rockers inside on that one. Resilience shown here today by Highland. They've scored four here in this fourth inning. That slider off the outside edge, 2-0. There's a strike as that slider swims to the outside corner. Two and one. Liker kicks, fires, and off the outside corner again. Hitters count here to Rockers. Runner on third. Two outs, 5-2 Highland here in the fourth. That one fouled back, full count. That one low and away, and a ball four walk to Rockers. Sets the table for Highland's best hitter, Zach Knowlton. Runners on the corners, wind blowing out to left field. That one muscled and it's gonna get past Cruz and fall in. Scoring there is Oshis. And it's six to two. Frustrating inning for the Ravens as it felt like. This has just been a lot of soft contact that's fallen. Now the Scotty's have batted around here as we go back to Dylan Shepard who led off the inning. Change up outside, 1-0. and That one grounded foul. There's a strike on the outside edge. One, two pitch, outside with a slider. Two two, Liker tries to put an end to the bleeding. That one grounded to Dominguez. The flip to second in the inning comes to an end. Five runs come across for Highland, doing some major damage. They lead at six two. We'll see if the Ravens can cut into the deficit on the Red Raven Sports Network.
Bottom four here from Walter Johnson Park in Coffeyville, and it'll be Tate Moody leading off the Raven half of the fourth inning. They trail six to two after a five run top of the fourth from the Highland Scotties. Matlick now for the first time today has a lead to work with, and he starts off Moody with a strike. And quickly 0-2 on the Raven hitter Moody. Go to pitch. Upstairs, 1-2. and two. It'll be Moody, Gillespie, and Midget here in the fourth. One and two, Tate fouls it off down the right field line. Moody drew a walk his first time up. That one inside, two and two. Highland does have action in their bullpen, as do the Ravens. That one strike three, Moody gone looking. One down here in the fourth. Gillespie first pitch swinging. That one out to left center field on the run and not going to get there. It's down and off the wall. A one out double for the catcher, Ethan Gillespie. Trying to fire up his Raven teammates with a one out base runner. Landon Midget steps into the box, runner in scoring position, and down six to two. Now the Ravens obviously got to chip away one run at a time, and now with a runner in scoring position, one out. Here's a great opportunity to get the first one back. First pitch to the first baseman, Landon Midget. His low, ball one. That one down low and in, 2-0 and oh on the Raven nine-hole hitter. Matlick gets his sign, the 2-0. Is high, 3-0. and There's a strike. Matlick finds the zone for the first time in this at bat. Three and one. Gillespie gets his lead off of second. That one fouled back, full count. Payoff pitch here, Gillespie on second, full count pitch to Midget. That one is belted, left center field, no doubt about it, it is gone. And the Ravens eight and nine hole hitters cut the deficit in half. Landon Midget, nothing small about that blast. Six four, what a swing. And now we move to the, back to the top of the order with Adrian Dominguez. Ravens down six to four after the two run home run by Midget. One out here in the bottom of the fourth. Breaking ball strike to Dominguez.
Breaking ball, strike two. O2 pitch, and fastball up. That one grounded to the first baseman, off his glove, booted, Dominguez will beat it out. And the tying run will come to the plate. E3 against the Highland first baseman, Titus. Something pretty cool that we were just informed of here in the press box, as we'll have a mound visit here. And it looks like we may be having our first pitching change of the day. Matlick is done. Ravens have cut the deficit in half. It's 6-4. We'll be right back. Ravens have gotten two runs here in the fourth on the second collegiate home run from first baseman Landon Midget. Now have the tying run at the plate with Nathan Cruz up to bat. He'll face the new pitcher right-hander Zach Neer. Neer comes into the game with a 4.67 earned run average. He's only pitched in two games, has gone three innings, allowing three runs, two of them earned three walks and three strikeouts. First pitch was outside to Nathan Cruz. Cruz has been on twice today with a walk and a base hit. And he's ahead 2-0. Some good discipline shown in this inning by the Ravens after surrendering five in the top half of the inning to be able to step right back into the batter's box and battle. It's tough to do. Now we'll see if Cruz can come up with a big swing. He's ahead 3-0. and with the ever so dangerous Carson Schrack standing on deck. And a four pitch walk. Fourth walk of the year issued by Near. Dominguez is up to second. Cruz is on for the third time today. And now the go ahead run steps to the plate. In Carson Shrek. Shrek had an RBI single his first time up. Struck out looking on a questionable strike three call his last time up.
First pitch inside to Schrack. Five pitches from the new pitcher near, not one of them has found the zone. One zero pitch to Schrack. Inside, 2-0. and Carson Miller stands on deck. It's 2-0 and to Schrack. Tying run at first. Ravens down 6-4, bottom of the fourth. Here, game one of our Saturday afternoon doubleheader. Ravens trying to win the series against Highland. 3-0. and Ravens won both games on the road. They would only need to win one out of two today to win the series, but obviously they're going for the four-game sweep. Breaking ball, strike. A well-located breaking ball there from near. A get-me-over curve ball to keep him alive with Shrack. Three and one, the right-hander near. Grounded, first baseman makes the play. He'll go to first, take the sure out. Dominguez and Cruz move up to second and third. Two outs. Carson Miller outside with the first pitch breaking ball, 1-0. and oh. 1-0 pitch. And that one just off the outside corner, 2-0. and uh, two and oh. Near wanted that one. He saw a little head shake there as he got the ball. pitch. Carson Miller with a chance to tie the game with a hit. And instead it's 3-0. Standing on deck is center fielder Jaden Hill. Three oh pitch. Strike with a breaking ball. Three and one. Another arm warming up in the Highland bullpen. 3-1 pitch to Miller. Breaking ball. Missed up. Miller draws the walk. And they are loaded for Jaden Hill. First pitch to Hill, ball one. Ravens have scored two in the inning. They came into the inning down six to two. Now trail six to four, base is full. 1-0 pitch inside, throw back to first and diving back in time. Two and oh on Hill. Now a visit to the mound. Big opportunity here for Jaden, the sophomore, and he comes into today's game with 28 runs batted in. That's second on the team behind Christian Amen and Carson Schrack. Schrack now up to a team-high 30 after his RBI single today. But with extra bases here, Jaden Hill can take the team lead.
So it's 2-0 and on Hill. Nowhere to put him. And if you're Hill here, you're probably thinking breaking ball because that's really been the only pitch that Nier's been able to locate. Goes heater and fouled off. Two-one pitch. Way outside, pitch gets away. Runner breaks for the plate, the toss not in time. Dominguez comes home, and it's a one-run game. The pitch slipped out of Nears' hand. Dominguez broke for the plate, slides in under the tag. Ravens have scored three here in the bottom half of the fourth. Now a conversation between our officials. It's currently three and one on Jaden Hill here. Runners on second and third. Now we're ready to resume the at bat. Three one inside. Hill has walked. Bases are loaded again. And now it'll be Harrison Smith. Ravens down six to five, tying run at third, go ahead run at second. And there's a breaking ball for a strike. Oh one to Smith, breaking ball. Just missed outside, one and one. Smith, well hit, right center field, chasing it back, it's over his head. Cruz scores. They're sending Hill. Miller scores. Three run triple. Ravens back in front. The best way to answer a five run inning is responding with six. And it's eight to six, Coffeeville. The three-run triple by Harrison Smith. His 20, 18th, 19th, and 20th RBIs of the year, his second triple. Breaking ball upstairs. They're going to call a late strike on Tate Moody. A one. Breaking ball, hit him. Now we'll have a visit to the mound and a new pitcher coming in. Ravens with six here in the bottom of the fourth. Big three-run triple by Harrison Smith. 
Ravens in front. We'll be right back from Walter Johnson Park. First pitch from Rose, upstairs, ball one. Runner at third, two outs here in this fourth inning. Runner at third is Harrison Smith after delivering a three-run go-ahead triple. Had a fun afternoon of baseball so far here at Walter Johnson Park. Runner goes, now runner breaks for the plate. The run will score, and the inning will end with a rundown of Moody. But another run crosses the plate. Fourth inning in the books. Ravens get seven and lead it nine to six here on the Red Raven Sports Network.
We head to the fifth after a seven-run inning by the Ravens. They lead it 9-6. to six. Ryan Liker back on the mound working with the lead once again, and he leads off against the cleanup hitter for the Scotties, Nolan Oliver. 0-1 pitch, and that one grounded foul. Quickly 0-2. there are any Royals fans on the stream today, the Royals lead it 9-4 in the sixth inning against the New York Mets. That one upstairs, 1-2. One Salvador Perez hit a home run today for Kansas City. Bobby Witt Jr. with a triple. Alec Marsh has pitched five innings, allowing four runs. Royals looking for their tenth win of the season today. 1-2 pitch. Outside corner just missed. 2-2. Two two. Two two pitch here from Liker. And he goes to the breaking ball. That one skied to center. Hill retreating. Wind is blowing out there. Nice running catch by Jaden Hill. Showing the range, showing the speed. That's what you want out of your center fielder. One down. That'll bring up third baseman Gage Hansel. One out here in the fifth. Ravens lead it by three. First pitch from Liker is outside, ball one. Ravens do have an arm getting loose in the bullpen. Liker, obviously Coach Martin wanting Liker to go as deep as he can to try and save the bullpen for game two, but at the same time got to protect the lead at this stage of the game. That one muscle popped up, and it will be Midget who takes charge, makes the catch, and two outs. It's been a... Nice last 30 minutes or so for Landon Midget. A two-run homer and a nice play there on the infield. That'll bring up Connor Titus, the first baseman. Titus tied the game with a base hit his last time up. He would now have to get, on, get one over the fence to drive in a run here in this at-bat. 0-1 pitch, and just missed. Gillespie tried to frame that one back over the outside corner and was unsuccessful. 1-1. One and one. Liker gets his sign, works quickly. Outside, 2-1. and one. Six runs today for Highland, but most of that damage came in one inning. Ryan Liker's had... Two scoreless, or two one two three innings today, and make it three as he gets a ground ball to third, and a one two three fifth for Liker and the Ravens. They lead it nine to six, halfway through the fifth. Let's go bottom five. Coffeeville will look to add on when we come back on the Red Raven Sports Network. We go bottom five. Ravens lead it nine to six here in game one of our doubleheader. And Braden Rose continues to pitch for Highland, and he starts off Ethan Gillespie with strike one. Ravens scratched across seven runs in that bottom half of the fourth. Quickly 0 and 2.
One and two now from Rose, and that one outside with the uh, breaking ball, and the count evens up. Two-two pitch, that one sent to center field, playable. Now retreating on it, and that wind is carrying that baseball here today, but the catch is made by Zach Knowlton, one down. Midget comes up here for the Ravens. He hit a two-run home run his last time up to left center field. First pitch missed, ball one. Quickly 2-0 and oh on the Ravens' nine-hole hitter. Two-zero pitch. There's a strike. That one skied foul. First baseman gives it a look, but it's out of play. Two play uh, here to. Freshman first baseman and fought off by Midget, but caught for strike three on a foul tip. And two quick outs, Braden Rose has strung together three outs here in relief. First pitch outside to Adrian Dominguez. Dominguez was uh, not a uh, fan favorite of the Highland bench after scoring in the fourth inning as he skies that one to center field. He had some words for the pitcher when he came across the plate and they did not take too kindly to that. But here a one, two, three inning for Braden Rose. We go to the sixth, nine, six, Coffeyville. Ravens got to piece together six outs. Bottom five in the books. And the Ravens will head back to the mound as there's a conversation here. We'll be right back here on the Red Raven Sports Network. Ryan Liker out there for the top of the sixth. Ravens lead at nine to six. First pitch swinging right to the left fielder, Harrison Smith, who takes a couple steps back and makes the catch. At least to this point, I think a very misleading stat line for Ryan Liker today. He's given up six runs, but a lot of those on soft contact. And I think for the most part today, Ryan's looked very solid. Especially has looked really good with that slider on the outside corner. He's been using that a lot and getting keeping Highland hitters out in front. There's a strike with a sinker down and in. That one lined to center field. Hill coming in and making the catch. 
Two outs and three pitches for Ryan Liker. I'll bring up the nine hole hitter, Caleb Oshis. And he shows bunt, pulls it back, ball one. There's a strike from Liker, one and one. That one inside, two and one. Two one pitch, that one. Grounded to Dominguez, and for the second straight inning, Liker sits him down, one, two, three. Let's go bottom six, Ravens nine, Highland six, here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Bottom of the sixth here at Walter Johnson Park. Nathan Cruz leads off the inning for the Ravens. They lead it 9-6 to six over the Highland Scotties. Strike one from Braden Rose. Rose has looked pretty sharp out of relief here for Highland. One and one. Rose came into today's game with a... 5-4-4 earned run average. That'll go down here with the way he's pitched today. There's a swing and a miss. Looks like a change up down and in. One and two on Cruz. Swing and a miss. Throw down to first, completes the play, and a strikeout for Braden Rose. One down here in the sixth. Carson Schrack now steps in. Schrack had an RBI single in the first. Since then, he's struck out looking and grounded out to first. That one outside, ball one. Schrack, ground ball, second base. And the play will be made by Maverick Rockers, two down. Carson Miller steps in. He's the cleanup hitter today. He also has an RBI single in this game. First pitch. Just off the inside edge, 1-0 and on Carson Miller. Of course, we'll have our second game of the doubleheader, 30 minutes following the end of game one. That one fouled off, 1-1. One and one. One one pitch. Ravens have a three run lead. 
Looking to add to it here before we go to the top of the seventh. That one low, that's that changeup that struck out Cruz. Two and one. There's a strike on the inside edge, two and two. Two two pitch, and that hit him. Miller on with two outs here in the bottom of the sixth, and that'll give Jaden Hill an opportunity. Hill drew a walk his last time up. Swing and a miss. Big cut there from the center fielder. He made a, an outstanding running catch in the top half of the sixth inning to help out his pitcher. Windy day, balls are traveling. Jaden Hill showing his athleticism in center field, but he's behind 0-2. Highland looking to put up a zero. Keep it a three-run deficit. 0-2 pitch to Hill. And that one hit him. Back-to-back -back Ravens hit by a pitch. And that'll bring up Harrison Smith, who had the two-run triple his last time up that gave the Ravens the lead. First pitch, swing and a miss. Miller off of second, Hill off of first. Smith at the plate. 0-1, oh outside. One one pitch. Smith to left field, playable. Camping under it and making the catch is Oshis. And the inning comes to an end. Ravens with a 9 6 lead. They'll try to get three more outs and put a game one victory in the books here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Top seven, Ravens looking to piece together a game one come from behind victory. They lead it nine to six. Ryan Liker out there trying to finish off a complete game victory. Ravens do also have an arm warming up in the bullpen in case Ryan is to run into trouble. 0-1 oh here. He's
now ahead 0, oh, and they say he did not go, so one and one. It's the top of the order here for the Scotties in this seventh inning. Rockers, Knowlton, and Shepard. That one flied left center field. Smith giving a chase. He's under it. He's got it. One down. And uh, excuse me, that's Eric Bacon out there now in left field. Defensive replacement here in the seventh. One down for Liker. Two more outs to get. Here's Zach Knowles, the best. Excuse me, Zach Knowlton. Now one and one on Knowlton. One one pitch, and outside corner strike two. Liker, painting. One two pitch for Liker, and he started to go. Did he go? He did not. Gillespie can't believe it. Two-two pitch, breaking ball, strike three, and Likers an out away. Dylan Shepard, the catcher, the last. Resort for Highland here in game one. First pitch swinging. Fly ball to Jaden Hill giving chase. That is over his head and gone. Two out home run, Dylan Shepard. It keeps the Scotties alive and it's nine to seven. So now we move to the cleanup hitter, Nolan Oliver. Foul back. Ravens with a 9-7 lead. One and one now. One one outside, two and one. Swing and a miss. Liker finishes game one, and the Ravens come from behind to win it 9-7. to seven. Their third straight win over Highland. They'll go for the four-game sweep in game two, which begins in 30 minutes on the Red Ravens.